everybody, it's Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hanani, and I'm just going to work some more on this very simple cover. Um, I'm not sure if my other video turned out. I noticed at the end that the camera had come way, way down, and so um, I don't know if it's usable or not. So I'm just going to show you really quickly what I did. Um, you had seen already pretty much what I was doing, just putting, just collaging pieces on here, and I was going to cover it with um, Mod Podge and I still might but I don't think so it's it's pretty smooth and I don't think that these are gonna come off at all and I like the texture um, and I think that the Mod Podge would still get on this yarn that I've got sticking out at various places so I probably won't okay but then I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the inside and I decided I want to paint it so I'm going to paint it what happened to the plastic that I had um, hmm, that's weird What's in here? No, can't use that. Okay, I'll just cut off some plastic here. I'm gonna get some scissors. Sorry to reach across. Um, gosh, I don't know. I'm like so disorganized here. It's terrible. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just getting a piece of plastic, and oftentimes what I use is pieces of grocery, of plastic grocery bag. Okay, and first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paints, and I've chosen out five colors. I try to go with an uneven number of colors and in this case I don't want them highly contrasting I want them all to be browns basically so I'm gonna squirt just a little bit not too much of each kind in about three different places okay not a whole lot if you squirt too much then it's gonna take forever and a day to dry and you're just gonna have a big mess um, so just you know just to spread it out a little bit so that we have the different colors in different places but they're all gonna end up mixing anyway it's just that where they are, that color will be more con more um, concentrated. And I'm gonna add a little bit of metallic gold too in a second. So um, in case you want to know what the colors are, this one is metallic gold by Folk Art. I'm just gonna put in three. Oops, that's bigger than I wanted. There we go, that's good. Okay, that one's metallic gold by Folk Art. This one is classic caramel by Apple Barrel. These are like I think this is like 50 cents at Walmart. Multi-surface coffee latte. The folk art ones are a little bit more expensive. I think they might be like $1.67 or something. The gloss is like $98, 98 cents. This is real brown. And this one is warm buff. Okay. So then what I do is I just take this piece of plastic. It's really easy. And I just start like tapping it all over. Almost like you're stamping sort of. Because it's like up and down. You're not smearing it although it does kind of smear. But you're just going up and down and you just want to cover the whole surface and you can see how it's mixing. Okay, so it looks really cool, right? You want to go to all the edges. Okay, like that. I love the smell of paint. Okay, and there's still big globs on there in places. So I'll get those because I'll use them. Along the edge, I'm having to kind of you know, kind of spread it, but then I can go in and I can pat at it some more. But see how nicely this just kind of blends the colors from one into another? I'm doing this on my bedroom wall right now in yellows and pinks and some oranges also. Okay, so there's some darker stuff. Okay, I'm going to just go along on the edge for a second real quick, get some of this brown stuff over here on the edge and then I'll go back and I'll make those so that they're more mixed in and stuff but just to make sure that I get that whole edge it's a little hard to do and I don't know if the paint gets on the yarn I'll see how it looks I might just trim those off because they may not look that great after having paint on them we'll see you know I'm just like making this up as I go you guys <laughs> this is not something I've done before for a journal so like I said I'm just making it up it's kind of funny because the paint smells kind of chocolatey <laughs> isn't that funny <laughs> okay and I actually could use a little bit more paint but it's better to start out with too little and then add to it and I'm glad that I put on a t-shirt that I don't care about getting paint on I want some more gold I think too much and then I want some of this warm buff I like that 
Warren Buff. That sounds like Warren Buffett. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's probably way too much. This is going to take a while to dry, unfortunately, because I just put that much paint on there. Okay, but see how it just, it makes a really neat kind of textured look. And you don't have to, you know, like I said, not planning it, just, you know, going along and going along and just kind of like you're stamping, you know, or you're um, stenciling, sort of like that. Okay, so it's just all, I'm not like stirring it up, I'm just stamping it, and as I get different colors of paint, they kind of mix together, which is cool, right? Doesn't that look cool? and it's very easy. I'm just stamping it some more to mix up because see I've got a whole bunch of that <clears throat> really light color there so I just want to put some of that light color in other places which picks up some of the darker colors to add there. Okay and I've got it on plastic so I can just pick up the plastic and take it off my desk and go wash my hands and then I can work on some of the inner parts of the book. Okay that's it. See how easy that was? And it only took a couple minutes and now I don't have any, I have one paint-free finger here that I can use to turn off my uh, camera. All right, so I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.